maybe if you could just talk a little bit more about shifting away from thinking of yourself as a person, making that shift into the more abstract perspective. Yeah, well, to me, the fuel that, that comes underneath that makes it easier and easier is a sense of, of purpose. Like, I would go around for years when I first got the course, I would always just internally be praying that prayer, I'm here only to be truly helpful. I'm here to represent him who sent me. You do not have to worry about what to say or what to do, but he who sent me will direct me. I'm content to be wherever he wishes, knowing he goes there with me. I will be healed, because then let him teach me to heal. It just, that practice, that mental practice, kind of would lift me out of these specific thoughts about who's going to be here, and, you know, even looking, even into the future of the situation, even right before I would go to a course group, or to the grocery store, or to the laundry mat, or whatever, I would just start to mentally, you know, practice that, because it would, it would, remind me that I had a higher purpose, you know, for being beyond what the body was going to say or do. And then that just reminding myself, remind, in a very light, gentle way, reminding, reminding. It was a good practice at, at letting go of, of the self-concept. And I think whatever roles and concepts and beliefs, the, the conditioning that we, we carry with us, that's where all these expectations arise. So I, I would really practice and practice, not just kind of saying it as a mantra, but really like more of an, like a Zen open-eyed meditation, like I'm out and about, moving about. I'm not like, you know, eyes closed, just sitting. I'm out and about, and I'm going to take this, this idea, and I'm going to use it in my mind, I'm going to let it move through me and extend through me, and then it starts to just transfer to everything and everyone. There's, you know, there's, it's just, you start to be swept up in it. You know, there's joy with it, there's a lightness, there's a purpose. There's a spontaneity. That's what, um, ever since Maria and I came together and decided to collaborate, the first time we came together at the church to, to give a talk, she said, well, we can meet and pray, and yeah, we will always do, we meet and we pray together before we share a talk, and then, he says, so what are we gonna what are we gonna say? I, said, I don't know. I said, I'm just showing up. I have no idea. Is there like a topic or anything? No, I don't have a topic or anything. And then that's where my mind stays really absent in terms of, of the future. Like even a topic. Occasionally, you know, when you do a lot of traveling and speaking, that's that will press people's comfort zones at at conferences or churches or whatever, what's your topic? What's your description? And sometimes they would say, stick to the topic. <laughs> but, yeah. But it's, you know, it's six months and twelve months go by before I'm even there, and they'll, they'll say, stick to the topic. And I'll say to somebody, what's the topic? <laughs> <laughs> Not that I'm going to be able to stick to the topic, even you know, <laughs> they say, repeat, you want the same talk given twice, same identical talk. Good luck with that one. <laughs> How that's going to work. But, but that's where you just have to, I think, just be open to just show up. You know, really, really just show up in love. And then that's what we do. We just join together, we pray together, and, and know it's going to be perfect. It's going to be wonderful. It takes all the pressure off of trying to kind of fit into some kind of form or fit into some kind of structure. We were just, uh, yesterday we were coming back from the the restaurant, and we were driving back, and Maria was saying, she said, I like it when you can loosen up from rules. She was feeling a real flow here, here in, in, in Mexico, and, and saying it's wonderful. And then you come up and you, you put the movie on. Uh, the movie was on the same topic that we watched last night, on, on rules and, and rebellion and conforming and all those different things. But, but I think you have to have a lot of trust in the spirit to loosen from the rules. Because remember, the ego made the, the world to be a world of rules. The ego made the rules so that you would fall short and, and feel guilty. It wants you to feel stuck in guilt and trapped. And the more, I think, genuinely where you feel in the flow and connected to the spirit, you know, you, you are lined up with, 
Workbook lesson number 76 from the Course, I am under no laws but God's. How isn't that a happy thought? Because God only has one law and rule, that's love. <laughs> and that's, that you can live with. In fact, that is your life. <laughs> you know, you can live with. But, but all these other rules, you have to let the Spirit kind of loosen them in your mind. Because unless they're loosened, you know, like I was saying last night after the movie, you either react and rebel against rules that were made up by the ego, or you try to um, conform. And you feel stifled by conforming to those rules too. So it's really a, a lose-lose situation as long as you hold these beliefs as dear, and these rules as dear. But well, I think once you get into the trust, that, I mean for us, we just come together, it's very spontaneous, it's just flow, 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 lose track of time, and that's the point of it all. You know, it's not like we're, we don't come together with a plan. Mm -hmm. We don't really have any, we don't really bring any ambitions to this. This is like a holy meeting, a holy encounter, but we're not bringing any kind of ambitions or expectations to it. It's just like, well, show up. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'll share. You can play some music. And, oh, we can do this and this. And, you know, then we have fun and we lose track of time. And, yeah, that's the point. <laughs> there is no other point. <laughs> People say, sometimes say, was your conference a success? I say, well, I was happy, so <laughs> <laughs> it's a success. You know, that's my criteria. Yeah. <laughs> the one that's coming out to me a lot right now is with the dialogue between what Andy asked and David is, um, it's an experience. More than any type of thoughts that you can have, I feel that, that that's what it is for me, is that it's more of an experience, it's not really about thinking about it too much, it's just really living it. Which is actually what, what the topic, what, we're, what, the, what it says in the flyer, is live, live, live the Course in Miracles. And I think that's what it is. It's, it's not more of a thinking or intellectual way, it's more of, an, of experiencing it. And the only way you experience it, you know, just, just going back to what David said, is, is, is what going in and, and, do, and experiencing it with everyone you know, down the street when you're buying a taco or whatever how whatever it is for you and really just experiencing that and because there's this whole thing, you know, with like I said, about concepts of, of, of metaphysics or spirituality, which is or affirmations, right? There's this whole thing about affirming affirming. So it would be like, I am love, I am abundance and you say it ten hundred times and then you'll be free or whatnot, you know, or, or you're going to manifest something out there because you're saying this affirmation so much. And our mind is very powerful and it, and it might just, you will probably maybe project that and see that, although I, I, love the, I love it when you're really living that. It's not like you're just saying it, you know, because you could say, I am loving and then at the turn, you know, you're driving down a car and you're telling somebody to F off. You know, it's not in alignment. So I feel that it's really important to, to live the principles of the Course in Miracles because then it's going to give you a different experience. And it's going to be an experience that will set you free. You will feel freedom. You feel free. So it's not so much intellectual. It's not so much like of thinking too much about it. It's this, it's, and you'll see it. Look, I, mean, I think it says somewhere in the book, it's when, when, you, when, you're, when you're living it, when you're practicing it, you will see for yourself that it works. It, it says that. It says you will see for yourself that it works. You will, because you'll experience it. 